Hello and welcome. Today we're talking Excel Basics, a brand new function in 2019 called Data Types. Hello, my name is Jeff from FinallyLearn.com. So let's get started with this new data type. And this new data type is a function that's on the Data tab if you have Office 365 version of Excel. And there's two different data types currently and Maybe there'll be more, but right now there's the geography, and that's what we're going to do today with U.S. zip codes for post address and U.S. states and countries. The other one uh, is stocks, a stocks data tab, a data type uh, with stock symbols. You can look up different things. So let me show you how this works. Let's do zip codes. So I have zip codes, and I've verified them that they work. Zip codes in the United States. So if you go to the Data tab, you see we have two icons now, Stocks and Geography, and the little drop-down, it's still only Stocks and Geography. So it looks like there may be future functions uh, there on da uh, Data Types. So let's click on Geography. And Geography, now this little symbol, it's converted it to a little symbol that says, this is a recognized zip code. So with a zip code, we can look up the state, we have all the states listed. So 30308 pulls Georgia, 37205 pulls Tennessee. We can also pull the county and it pulls the city. And you see it's putting in, in consecutive columns, state, county, and city. Now the other things it can do, just two more things, it can pull a description, which basically says the same thing that we have pulled here and the name which is just going to be the zip code. Now, you can sort this list. You can sort this list from the smallest number to the largest number, which would go essentially in the United States east to west. You can sort this by state name, alphabetical by state name, so California and Florida, and then Texas would be at the very last, uh, by county or by city. So Florida pulls Broward County, Fort Lauderdale, all was that, that zip code. So 33306 is apparently Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, Florida. All right, let's look at states. Suppose we have states, and all you have to do is type the states. So the states, and then hit geography, and it recognizes all the states. And so we can pull the capital of each state. And we have lots of things we can pull uh, based on the state name. So the capital of each state, this would be helpful if you're trying to learn the state names and the state uh, capitals. We also can pull the largest city. So in New Mexico, Santa Fe is the capital. Albuquerque is the largest city. We can also pull the population. So the population. and you can sort by population. So just select any cell and then sort from smallest to largest. Wyoming here in this list is the smallest. California is the largest. If you want to go largest to smallest, then you can sort California, Texas, Florida, New York would be the, the largest of these states. Let's go back to our original list. We can also pull the median income, the median household income, and we can pull something like the percent of population age 65 plus. So you might want to know what state has the largest population of senior citizens. Well, you can uh, start sort from largest to smallest. And Florida, the capital is Tallahassee, the largest city, Jacksonville. Now, that doesn't appear to be correct. It's probably the city of Jacksonville rather than the metro area. Uh, certainly Miami uh, would be larger. Population, median income, and age 65 plus 19.4%. The last one, let's say we have a list of countries. And so countries here. Once again, geography tab. Uh, the geography button on the data tab here. So here we can pull the capital city. So here's the capital city. 
Here is the largest city. We can also pull the population. Uh, it also has information when you're in a country, things like GDP. And so GDP would be how large it is in millions. Uh, it has uh, dollars, so it's in um, the United States would be millions and billions and trillions, so $19.4 trillion GDP. Now, one thing you can do, you can also use math on this. So if you took the GDP and you divided by the number of people in the population, you can get a GDP per capita. And then that is sortable. So if you click on one and go largest to smallest, it sorts. The United States has the largest per capita GDP. And so this is all. All I did was type in United States and Canada and, and country names, and it did a data type, and it did a pool of information for the capital, the largest city, the population, the GDP. And then with the calculation, with a formula, I was able to calculate GDP per capita per person. All right, so that's how you do the data types, the brand new function in Excel 2019, Excel uh, Office for 365 version. So if you like this kind of content, please subscribe and ring the bell so you get more notifications. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next video.